Welcome, welcome everybody. Today we're going to be going over day two of the master class on how to plan out your life so you can achieve your wildest dreams this year. Okay, no excuses this year. We're going to achieve them. Um, so let's freaking go. All right, making sure I got everything set up. It, it, there's a lot to set up right now. So, okay, cool, cool. So I'm going to share my screen. I want to make sure everyone can see my screen. Let's see. Let's see. All right, all right. Welcome. Today, like I said, we're going to be going over how to plan out your life. We're going to be talking about how to break down your life goal, your um, not only your life goal, but your yearly goal into quarterly 90-day journeys, four, four quarters in a year. How can you break down what you're trying to do into uh, quarters so it's easier to digest than just saying, hey, this year I want to get rich, right? Or this year I want to make a million dollars. We're going to break it down and we're going to reverse engineer our goals so we can show you guys exactly how uh, how to hit your goals with the planner that I give away for free at painlessplanner.com. Okay, so if you don't have painless, if you haven't gotten the planner that I'm going to be showing you guys um, that I give away for free that I use in my personal life. Oh, you know why? It's because I'm ta my talking thing is on. Hold on. All right. So if you don't have the planner yet, go to painlessplanner.com and you can get it for free. You just have to set, it will send you an email. And if you don't see it in your email, you need to uh, most likely just check your spam. Okay. All right. Everybody in the Zoom. Good to see you. Houston. Love it. And uh, Beth. And by the way, if you guys aren't in the Zoom right now, that's who I'm talking to. If you're watching this live on any any of the platforms, uh, if you register by going to our Facebook group, Painless Flipping, you can register for this masterclass where you're going to get all the recordings. And if you missed it, don't worry. There's recordings. Uh, we're going to trim them up, make it really good so it's easy to follow. All right. Um, Beth, Edwin, good to see you. And you're saying um, dad's from the state, so go back and forth. Okay, sweet. All right. Well, uh, is everybody ready? You give me a one in the chat. If you're all ready, wherever you're watching this, just give me a one. I want to make sure everyone's ready to rock. Okay. Love it. I love the consistency. I already see your guys are being consistent. I love it. You're here today. You're ready to rock and roll. Okay. Let's put this over here. Let's see. Let's make sure I can put this. Here it is. Okay. All right. Can everyone, uh, can you guys see my screen right now? Just want to make sure that you can see the screen and then I'm sharing it. Let's see. Okay. Great. All right. So if you haven't grabbed the planner, no problem. You can grab it right now. And uh, let's go right into uh, today's uh, presentation on how to set goals and accomplish your dreams through reverse engineering, what you're trying to accomplish by starting with the end in mind through using the painless planner. Let's go for it, everybody. Okay, so um, just one last check. Okay, we're good. You guys can see it. All right, so yesterday, what did we go over yesterday? Well, good thing, I'm gonna review it, okay? Today, we're talking about planning in action. We're going to be taking uh, what we learned yesterday and today, and I'm going to be going through a couple of scenarios of planning objectives and key results and initiatives and actually breaking down your goals uh, for you so we can make sure you understand the process. Uh, we're going to do a quick recap over what we talked about yesterday. Um, so Edwin and Beth and anyone else that's watching, what did we go over yesterday? Do you guys remember? Um, you can type that in the chat, but you know, I'll give you kind of a summary for people that weren't watching. Uh, what we talked about yesterday were, was setting objectives and key results, setting goals through the OKR model, objectives and key results, which is the objective is what you're trying to accomplish. And the key result is um, how you're going to accomplish that through measurable, taking measurable actions. And that's the hardest part about setting goals for people is they, they set a goal, they set the objective, but they don't know exactly how or what actions to take that's going to get them to that goal. And a lot of the time they set goals that aren't even aligned with their, their really their mission and their vision in life. So what we went over yesterday is understanding uh, what OKRs are, how to do them, and setting your life vision, 
your your um your mission, your vision for your life, and then we're taking that back into uh, what you're trying to accomplish this year, your objective for this year, and the categories that I have broken down, which I'm going to show you, and how it should and it needs to align. And we're using Chat GPT to help us because this could be a very strenuous activity. It could be very, pretty difficult to do, but with the help of AI, you're able to do it very quickly. And then you can go in and manipulate, you know, update it, change it, review it. So uh, for people that are in the chat, did anyone go through the exercise that we talked about yesterday of uh, going and planning your life plan and objective and your year plan using AI, using Chat GPT? Did anyone do that? Um, and if you didn't give me a one, if you did it in the, in the chat, um, in the zoom and give me a two, if you didn't, because you just haven't had the time, it's all good. I'm not here to roast anybody or say, Hey, you didn't do a good job. I'm just curious. Okay. Beth didn't do it. It's okay. Beth, I want you to be able to, uh, take the time to do this. And sometimes this can take some time. It can take some time to like, think it through now, uh, throwing everything in the chat GPT, like that's cool, but maybe you want to take some more time on it. Uh, Marcella starting today, but we'll take action today. I love it. All right. Anybody else, um, take action on this and, and it's okay if you didn't again, cause I'm going to explain really quickly how to do it. Um, but okay. Edwin started to play with it, but didn't finish. Okay. Let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again because, um, and we'll do it pretty quickly. All you do is you, you take, you go to chat GPT it's free. I have the paid, like the, the chat GPT four. You can do it with the chat GPT 3.5. That's free. Um, super easy. And all you do is you take each section of this, uh, this little planner grid thing. I, I don't know what, what you want to call it. Life plan and objective worksheet. And you, you take this, you take this, you copy it and paste it into chat and you say, Hey, help me create a vision for my life. According to this outline, if this is what I want to do. Okay. And then it will spit out uh, a vision for you according to what you tell it. Same thing with the mission, same thing with the core values. Again, you can watch this in the video on the recordings from the day one. Um, and then you go to each category. I believe I've done a lot of studying and like diving into this. I believe that our lives are broken down into five categories. You have spiritual, whether you're someone of faith or not, whether you believe in God, it's spiritual, you, your spirit, you have your body, which is health community, friends, family, neighbors, serving others, charity, self-development, trying to improve yourself and business finances, uh, being able to make money so you can survive and pay for the things you need. Those are the five uh, categories that I believe that your life is broken into. So I set everything that I do from this, this, um, this outline, I basically say, Hey, this is what I want to do in life. Now, how do I accomplish this breaking it down into a, this year? How do I break it down into 90 days journey into my month, to my week, to my day. So everything I do every day aligns with me hitting my life objective. And, and by the way, uh, yesterday we did also talk about if you go to painlessplanner.com, you can go here and all you got to do is go to file and make your own copy. You just click on make copy and then you get your own planner that you can, uh, you can change. You can update, you can change the name. You can, uh, you know, update any of the strategies that I put in or tactics, uh, for, as we go deeper, you, it's, you can update it, right. Cause you make your own copy. So you could just say, uh, blah, 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 right. That does not affect the main version that I have that I'm, I'm showing you guys. So yeah, you make a copy and you can either use it on your computer digitally or what I do as you guys can see on my actual screen here, I print it out with tabs and I write it down because I found that writing down is a lot easier for me to remember. And I, I, I use this every day. I review my life vision and my mission and my plan and objective and year every, every day I do it because it, it aligns with what I, it helps me align myself with what I want to do. And if someone comes to me and says, Hey, Nate, you want to start uh, a business selling cars? I'm immediately able to be like, well, hey, look, that doesn't align with my my mission, my vision, what I'm trying to accomplish right now. That's a no. That's a big no for me. And that's a big problem that people have is they have all these uh, shiny pennies. They have all these distractions in this world, right? With social media, all this stuff saying, hey, do this, do that. If you know where you're going and what your mission is, you'll be able to say no and just spend your time on uh, things that matter and that are going to get you to what you want. Versus wasting it on things that uh, will not help you get what you want. And believe me, I, I spent a lot of time wasting time doing things that 
were not going to help me get what I want, but now it, the vision is clear. Okay. So I showed you guys how you could, uh, go and get the planner and, uh, how you can just go print it as well. All you do is you just download PDF version, PDF print, and then, uh, bam. And obviously the planner tells you how many pages to print and all that stuff. And if you guys really like the planner, maybe I'll make it a book one day, but right now it's just all uh, digital or you got to print it. Okay. So is everybody, is everybody with me in the, in the zoom? We're about to recap, uh, setting the, uh, vision mission. We're going to go through this and then we're going to go to the year. And then now it's time to go today specifically over the 90 day, uh, objective. So give me a one in the chat. If you guys, uh, are ready to rock and we're going to go into it. Um, so you do it electronically with chat GPT and then make another copy and hand write it. I do it electronically. That is correct. Marcella. I do it electronically first. I have chat. I kind of use chat to brainstorm. I really want chat to kind of help me understand the best way like to outline it. And then once I really have it down, then I print it out and I write it. Okay. So chat is used just for brainstorming. All right. It's not like maybe it will come up with something great and I'll use that, but mainly it's it's just to get help, put my thoughts out there. Okay. All right. So let's go. I think there's one more. It makes sense totally and faster, much, much faster. If you just did this uh, without chat, oh, it would take forever. And that's why I'm so excited about showing everyone this because this process, you can just whip it out and you'd be, you know, within a couple days or a week, have a, at least an outline. And by the way, I change my objectives. I change my goals all the time. It's not like once this is made, you can't change it. But, um, and especially as you're taking action and you're applying it, you're, you're eventually can see like, oh, that's not really what I want or, or that's a waste of my time or I'm not passionate about that. And you can update this as you go. That's the beautiful thing about it. It helps you find quicker if this is really what you want. Okay. So what I did yesterday, like in this chat, I just went to the one that we did yesterday and I said, um, I just said, Hey, uh, let's see from what I told you yesterday, write down again, my vision, my mission, my core values, my strategy to get them and the objectives, the things I'm trying to accomplish in each category of my life. So we already did this. So go watch it yesterday. If you, you missed it, uh, what we said, but basically I, it just, after all that activity you did, I just asked it to put it back there again. And it did. So what I said yesterday was that my mission and my vision for my business and for my life is to serve others, help others succeed and help people achieve their goals. That's really what I want. I'm passionate about that. Like money does not drive me. Uh, I'm, I live a very frugal lifestyle. I don't really care about nice cars, nice things. I, I have everything I want to get everything I want at Costco for super cheap. So, uh, I don't really need uh, a lot of money, even though money's great. It's just not, it doesn't drive or motivate me at all. Uh, what motivates me again is the vision to help others succeed. So that's why I said, I say, Hey chat, my mission is to help others succeed in life and in business by developing the right attributes and, and being good people. Um, so that's what it, this said is it, it basically took what I said and it whipped out, uh, the vision to empower individuals to excel in their personal real uh, personal and real estate ambitions. Okay. That's good vision. Okay. I can get behind that and get excited every day to say, Hey, that's, that's what I'm going towards. Okay. And then I said, what's a good mission that if I accomplish and I put myself behind this, it will help me accomplish my vision. Well, this gave me, you know, a measurable activity guide uh, 1000 individuals each year, each year towards successful real estate investments. That that's an amazing mission. That's, that's huge. Okay. Now, just like I showed you guys, you take this, once you, re, you, you review it, you refine it, you make sure you like it, you take it and you would take uh, print it out. If you do, if you like it, or you would just copy and paste it in here and you would put it under vision, mission, core values and strategy. And then again, this gave me the core values. If I want to help people succeed in life, what are the core values I need to live by that I make my decisions by every day? Empowerment, integrity, innovation, collaboration, excellence. Good. Okay. Strategy. What's the strategy behind getting all this done so I can accomplish my mission? Okay. Well, education and resource development, community building. Very true. I got to build a community if I have to reach a thousand people and help even more people because a thousand are going to actually do it and achieve the real estate um, su success. Personalized service and support. You guys get the idea. This is chat is giving me ideas. I don't have to take all them, but it is giving me the strategy in order to accomplish my life goal. 
Now, this might seem like really big, guys, right? This is a giant, giant goal. Help a thousand people see uh, towards a success in real estate investments and personal growth. A, a giant goal. Now, if I just look at that giant goal, like we most do, like, hey, I want to be a black belt in jujitsu. I want to lose 100 pounds. That's a giant mountain, right? It's like, oh my gosh, that might be extremely difficult to achieve. But this is what the OKR system and the painless planner is helping us to do. It's helping us to take that big life vision and break it down into bite-sized chunks. So I know today, if I do something, it will help me further accomplish my mission to help a thousand people. And by the way, this is just, that's not necessarily my mission. My, this is just what chat did for me yesterday in our um, day one of the exercise. So because I know now I know my vision, mission, core values, and strategy that are on page, basically the first page you do in the painless planner. Once you start getting into it, you want to break it down into each category of your life. Okay. So you have, um, spiritual community, health, business, self-development. So this says in my life, spiritually, I want to lead a community spiritually, uh, in, uh spiritual initiative, fostering compassion and mindfulness. Okay. That's a big goal. Big, big bite-sized chunk I got to take out. I can't, I don't know, even know where to start. Let's reverse engineer it, right? So these are all the objectives that in each category of my life, if I accomplish these, I'm going to thus accomplish my mission and my vision and uh, get to where I want in life. Okay. So what do we do now? Before we go back and review and show you guys how we take this big chunk, this mountain, this big idea, this 10x goal, and we break it down into what am I going to do this year, 2024, to accomplish that? I want to make sure everyone's with me. So um, everybody in the Zoom, in the chat, give me a one if you're with me. Give me a two if you're not or if you have a question because I want to make sure this all makes sense. Okay. Love it. All right. I appreciate it. Um, and I'm, I really get excited about this stuff, everyone, because this is it. Like the, I'm telling you, if you want to have the motivation every day to get up and do something, you need to know d in the end, what is it going to help you accomplish? If you've lacked motivation to, to lose weight or do something, um, it's probably because you don't know like the, the end goal of like, what is doing this going to help me get like, if you want to get jacked, if you like, I use this, I use health a lot, right. As an example, but if you want to get really strong and you know, you go work out like, uh, for eight hours, one day, you just go, cause you're like, oh, I got to work out. I got to be strong. You go work out for eight hours once and you, you don't see any results. You're like, man, I put a ton of effort. I'm not seeing any results. This is not working. That's not how life works. That's life works as you, you got to take small incremental actions and decisions to, to see big changes in the future. Right. Um, it's like a farmer. And I think that's kind of the problem these days is people like we want instant gratification. Like you want something to eat, you just go get it. Like, but if back in the days, like when you're a farmer and you had to plant stuff, you knew that the process to getting what you wanted in life was to plant a seed, to water it, to wait, to nourish it. And then you would see the results. And that's how life is, whether you want to run a business, you want to do deals, you want to be smarter, like you want whatever you want. It takes time. Anything great takes time. And if it doesn't take time, it's probably not that not that valuable. Right. So um, like character, you want to be a better person. Well, you know, you can decide today to be better, but what's going to get you better is loving, serving and doing activities daily that gets you there. I, I could go on forever about why you need to know exactly what to do daily in order to help you get to your mission. Um, I could go on forever. Like, like for example, I used to hate waking up early. I thought six 30 was early. I wake up every day at five because I know if I wake up at five, I'll be able to read, do my morning routine and get in the long run, be able to build the skills and develop the character that I want to be able to help people achieve their goals. Right. I can't mm -hmm. be telling people to wake up early or do things if I'm not willing to do them. So that motivates me because it helps me achieve my, my end, my end vision and mission. Okay. So now we have our mission and vision, um, for our life. What do we do right now, uh, with chat to find out what do we do this year, 2024? Okay. Well, all we do with this is we just say, please break down my objective, uh, to accomplish, uh, let's see, let me make sure this is the right one. Um, yeah, here it is. I basically said, Hey, break down my, everything I told you into this year, 2024. Okay. So then it said, all right. Um, 
And by the way, you break them down by the category because that's how we're going to go from here on. You, you don't break these down, these four down into like um, year, uh, quarter, month, week, a day. You just break, the, you just have these to guide you. These is, this is what you break down, uh, like, like I just said. So I basically said, hey, break down my my whole objectives into category the category these following categories in 2024 so it takes the the life objective so we'll go with health uh i'm not going to go over all these but we said health complete a challenging physical event for charity representing um dedication to holistic health okay so that that could be a great goal for um 2024 you want to complete a, ch a physical challenge right a physical event last year i did the spartan uh jerry norton and, and with pace morby and a couple other guys they invited me and that wasn't a goal but i did it but if that is a goal that you have right now you could just say oh okay i want to complete a spartan right or i want to complete a physical event then how are you going to accomplish that this this year right um this one says uh in 2024 the life goal is to complete a challenging physical event for charity. You could probably accomplish that life event in one year and you, you could set another life life objective. But uh, 2024 says select a physical challenge early in the year, such as a marathon or long distance bike ride. Train consistently. So this is going pretty deep into how you can do it. But really, we just want to say, hey, uh, accomplish one uh, triathlon or accomplish one uh, physical challenge. OK, and it breaks it down on other ends like for. Uh, wholesaling, you could say, Hey, my, uh, start a wholesaling business, right? If you're brand new, start a wholesaling business could be the objective. And then, um, sorry, sorry. Uh, life objective would be like run a successful business. Right. And then it would break down into, I want to start a wholesaling business. So 2024 objective this year could be, I want to start a wholesaling business. Okay. It's as simple as that. What do you want to accomplish is the objective. The key result is how you're going to accomplish it with measurable things that you have to track and know what you're doing. Okay. So, um, here we are. So that was, that's the year. Okay. That's what we went over yesterday. You know, we've gone maybe a couple minutes deep into yesterday, but that's it. That's what I wanted to talk to everyone about. Um, everybody with me in the, in the zoom, how, uh, how important it is to start with your life, your year. And now we're breaking this down into a 90 day goal, 90 day journey. Okay. This is your quarter. I want to know from everybody in here, because I never did this before, who has planned their life according to the each quarter of the year, the 90 day journey, as I call it, um, each quarter. Give me a one if you've planned by quarter, quarterly, or, and give me a two if you haven't, because this is something new to me. I never really did it because I was like, Psh, quarters, what the heck is, why do I need to do that by quarters? But again, this is huge because if you try to bite off that giant you try to climb that mountain all at once, right? Even that year, that year goal, that could be too much. Um, so you really got to break it down into bite-sized pieces. So breaking it down into 90 days, it's easier to see. Okay. All right. So everybody, no one's really done it in the chat. And hey, I totally get it. Me either, right? Until, until now. Until I started doing this. All right. So let's go back here. So now this is really cool. I said chat. I have my mission. I have my vision for my life. I have what I want to do for this year. I want you to break it down for me now. This is what I said right here. I want you to break it down for me in objectives quarterly, right? Every 90 days, quarterly objectives, key results and initiatives. Okay. So objective again is what do you want, right? Um, key results are how am I going to get what I want? And it's got to be measurable. You have to be able to track it or it's a bad key result. How am I going to get to the objective? And then I also said, give me some initiatives. And if people aren't familiar with initiatives, initiatives are like the to-do to, to, to tasks that you need to do that don't accomplish the objective, but they're things that are important. So like, like for example, this is, would be an initiative. You would say, hey, I want to lose 20 pounds. That's the objective, okay? The key result would be I need to go to the gym daily right? Every day 90, for 90 days, every day. That's And that's something you could check off. That's measurable. You can track that. And um, that would help you achieve your objective. Now, initiative would be like, that's one thing you have a to-do task you have to do to accomplish, get the thing done. So initiative would be like, well, I don't have any weights or I don't have a gym I can go to, or I don't have a scale. 
okay, well, I need to buy those things. Those are little to-dos that a lot of the time people think that's like the objective and that's the goal is just to like get a gym membership. Well, that's not going to help you do anything other than just like check it off. You might succeed. You might not. So again, objectives is the what, and I'll show you guys if you ever are struggling to make objectives and key results, there's this little cheat sheet I have. It's, um, what is an objective? What do you want? What is the key result? Um, you met, it's gotta be, how are we going to make progress with what metrics? And then it, uh, later talks about initiatives, um, right here, activities and projects separate from the key result. Like I said, getting the, the license, the gym, the gym subscription or membership. Okay. And it, this even breaks it down and helps you. I, okay. Our just dissection. This is really cool. I'm really, I love this stuff. All right. So again, I just said, Hey chat, break these things down into quarterly, um, objectives, key results, and initiatives. So I know how I can achieve it. Now what chat did is it started whipping out, um, everything for me for each quarter. It went above and beyond. It was like, Hey, you want, you want it in quarters here. Here's your objective for the quarter one with the key result and the initiatives. Now what it started doing is it's kind of mixed both of these the objective it wasn't really giving me the what and the key result wasn't really giving me the how and it wasn't always measurable it wasn't always telling me exactly i want to know exactly what i got to do i don't want any fluff like just i i want to know what action i got to take um and that's what's important to me so it didn't do it so after it whipped out everything in the categories of like each quarter and what i need to do per category of my life um, I said, Hey, look, can you redo the objectives and key results and make sure that the objectives answer the question of what, and the key results answer the question of how, and make sure that, uh, it's measurable. I, all I did is I read this and I said, Hey, chat, make sure it answers these questions. And it said, absolutely establish a thriving monthly. So we're going to go to health again. Okay. Now this, this came and gave you all of the, um, the whole year, every quarter. It broke it down. Now that might be a little overwhelming. So I don't think you guys need to do that for the whole year. I would just break it down and um, I'd say redo this and uh, make it just for, let me hide this, quarter one, Q1. Because it's it's too much to look at in my opinion if you do the whole quarter. You're not planning for the whole, the whole year. Um, maybe maybe doesn't like uh, me at the moment. Okay. There you go. So you just want to do it for um, the first quarter. This, it'd be way too much to do it for the whole year. Don't do it for the whole year. Okay. So we're going to look at the health because the health is, uh, is easier. Okay. Uh, all right. So we got initiate training and fundraising for the event. Okay. So that would be the objective. You remember that the, the goal of the year and health is to uh, do like a, a physical event. So this says start training and fundraising for the event because you're going to run for the event and hopefully have people, you know, sponsor you. Okay. So what are some of the Q are uh, the key results in Q1 that if you accomplish these measurable things will help you achieve your objective it says establish and begin a structured training program with specific fitness milestones. Okay, great. Um, set up a fundraising page and uh i don't know where, where it went let's see uh set up a fundraising page and reach 25 percent of your fundraising target cool so this is probably just saying hey like you're going to be running the race at the end of the year so just hit 25 percent. okay so now i have a clear path to to know what i need to do in order to get ready to accomplish my goal of the year to run in a, a fundraiser right um run a marathon and raise some funds. So there's your key result. So we're going to take this guys. And since again, we're going to giving you all the, the overview you gave, you did your life plan. You came up with your uh, yearly objective. And now we're getting into your 90 day journey, your OKRs for your Q1. Okay. So if you don't use chat, you, there's an exercise that I put here that could help you. Um, it's, you just write down your ideas for your objective for Q1. So let's, let me show you how you'd go through this exercise. If you don't, you can even use chat for this, but this is just an exercise to give you some ideas. So in case you have a couple ideas, so let's, let's go over a uh, quarter, 
one health objectives. Um, the objective is the destination simply answering, what do I want to achieve? So what do I want to achieve in 2024 for my health? So let me ask uh, people in, in the Zoom, let's go through this process together and maybe make a little bit more sense. What do you want to achieve, uh, everybody, in health in 2024 in the first quarter? What would be a, a, a what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? Uh, what's the destination? What's something you all want? I'd love some feedback. And if I, if I don't get any feedback, it's totally fine. I'll make some stuff up. But uh, just, just throw out any any uh, health goals. Like, I, I'll throw out a couple. I want a blue belt in jujitsu. I'm right now, I'm a white belt. I want to get a blue, my blue belt in jujitsu. I'd love to do that. Okay. Um, Melissa, you want to be consistent. It says work out uh, three to four times on the Peloton. So be consistent at working out. That's an objective, right? It's what do you want? You want to be consistent. You want to work out three to four times on the Peloton. Okay. Um, another one that I have is I want to win a real uh, jujitsu tournament. That would be a, a goal I have for health. All right. That's what I want. It's not how I'm going to do it. I'm not saying anything about how that's, that's key result. So make sure you're not saying how you're going to accomplish in your objective, just what you want. Okay. Um, like I want a six pack, right? I, my whole life I've, you know, wanted a six pack, but for some reason I, it doesn't want to come out, you know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, some, sometimes it's come out when I was younger, a uh, younger lad and, and more active, but why well, I'm active, I don't know. I guess it's just food, but, um, yeah. So six pack, I want to be jacked. I want to, it's whatever you want. Does anybody else want to say anything in the, the chat? Uh, anything they, they want to write, any other health objectives they have. And again, if you don't have anything, totally fine. All right. All right. Let's see. So I'm just checking the other. All right. All right. We'll just continue with that. All right. So if you did in this exercise, you could write all those things we talked about. Those would be objectives. The next page is to refine your objective. To just pick one. Okay. Just out of all those objectives of getting a blue belt, uh, you know, winning tournament, getting a six pack, uh, working out in the Peloton consistently, let's pick the pe Peloton. It'd be like, okay, I want to be consistently consistent and working on my Peloton. Okay. Bam. That's your objective. So then you break it down into the key results. Okay, you're, you 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 desire to work out on your Peloton and be consistent. What are some of the key results that will help you to achieve that? Um, how you're going to do that? So let's let's ask chat. This will be easier. Um, I'll turn on my little voice thing so I can talk and I don't have to type. One of my objectives for quarter one in health is to be consistent at working out on my Peloton. Come on, let me, let me try it again. It, it should work. Hello? Hmm. Okay, there it is. One of my objectives... Oh, gosh. One of my objectives for quarter one is to consistently work out on my Peloton. period. Please create me five key results that are measurable that will help me accomplish hitting my objective of consistently working out on my Peloton in quarter one. Okay. So what this is three to four times a week. No, I totally get it. All right. Um, let's see. You're to support your objective of consistently working on your Peloton in first quarter. Here are five measurable key results. Frequency, complete a minimum of 20 Peloton workouts by the end of the quarter. This equals one to two workouts per week. So you've already kind of done a good job, Melissa, of saying you want to do three to four times a week. So the objective could be uh, for health, consistently work out. And then you could say three to four times a week is the key result, right? That's the measurable of 
consistently working out. You could say, I want, you could make your objective uh, a weight goal. You could make it, uh, you know, a body fat percentage. Um, because really, uh, the, the key result is how you're going to do it, which is the, how is the three to four times. And that's the thing is a lot of people set goals. They'll either focus on like the end result of the goal, like the objective, I want to be jacked or I want to lose weight, or they'll still focus on, I want to work out three to four times a week. They're both separate things. The what and the how are both separate and being able to know what you're trying to accomplish and how you're going to do it is really important. And that's why OKRs in this exercise is important to do because if you don't connect both of them, sometimes it, I lose motivation, right? I'm like, Right now, I'm one of my key results uh, in self development is to read 40 minutes every morning in a good book. Now, I don't, if I didn't really know what doing that daily for 40 minutes really attributed it to, like what, what I was accomplishing, if I did that, maybe I would be like, I don't need to read today. But I know that if I read 40 minutes a day in a good book, it is going to accomplish the objective of improving my character, my attributes. And being a better person because I'm reading and learning from good people and learning skill sets. So having both of those and understanding why they're both important to have helps you, uh, you know, accomplish those things way, way more easily. Okay. Um, let's see. Does that make sense, Melissa? Like why, you know, understanding the difference in the objective of the what and the how you're going to achieve it. The key result is important. Awesome. Okay. Now, the thing is, I used to do this, everybody. I used to say, well, I got a ton. I got big goals. I can do it all. Guys, unfortunately, you can't do it all. You got to stay focused. And that's why I break everything down in my life to five categories, five things, okay? I can only really do five things a day or a quarter or my life that like consistently and really good. If I had five, 10 objectives for spirituality in quarter one, I'm overwhelmed. And that's what I used to do. If we go look at my planners that I have back there, I was trying to do everything. I like for the coaching business, uh, in real estate, I was trying to go on YouTube. I was trying to go blah, 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 do this and this and this. I was getting overwhelmed. I was getting burnt out. You have to be specific about what you want to use your time with. Right? So you might want to get jacked all the same time. You might want to be a blue belt in jujitsu. You might want to um, have a six pack and well, like five, 10 things, but really you can only do one very well, very good. So you, that's why we have to determine what we're doing. And with all the key results in the, the objective ideas, you, you want to pick one. Okay. Yeah. If you have too much going on, you will not be able to win guys. Let me tell you something about focus. I have ADHD. All right. It, one of the hardest things for me to learn is quality over quantity. I was a quality, uh, sorry, a quantity expert. I could push, push out as much as possible, but it was not quality. Okay. Then I read a couple good books. There's a book uh, over there called, um, 10 X is easier than two X. There's another book called uh, freedom to focus all. If you interview any millionaire or super successful person, they're good at a couple of things and they're actually extremely good at a couple of things. They don't try to do it all. Okay. So that's again, I don't I'm just trying to say you got to focus and pick one and, and guys, maybe these five categories, maybe that's too much when you're starting out, maybe just pick one of these. Maybe pick two of these. Maybe you can't handle in quarter one focusing on trying to accomplish all of these. I actually had three when I first started because I, it was hard for me to do five. Then I was like, okay, I can do five. I've done three consistently. I get it. I know the process. So maybe you don't need to worry so much about your business or sorry, like let's, let's just go with community. You're not really worried about like building a community or, you know, maintaining relationships with friends and families as a goal, for example, or maybe spiritual. You don't want to focus on that. You want to focus more on self health and business. That's okay. Pick one, pick two. It doesn't matter, but you, you have to understand the difference between the, what you want and how you're going to get there. And that's what this little exercise worksheet is for. It's just basically taking your, your, um, what you want, picking one per category and taking how you're going to accomplish those things and saying one per category. And then you take it to this final page. And this, this thing is the Holy grail. This thing is 
going to help you. If there's one thing that I've taught you so far, if you can get yourself to uh, this point where you make a quarter one OKR sheet with your objective, the key result, how you measure it, your initiatives and why it's important to you, and you review this daily, every day in quarter one, you will accomplish more than you've ever accomplished in your entire life. Um, I promise you because I know I've been trying to do it. So if, if we go to my my planner right here, I review my quarter, my 90 day journey, my quarter daily. OK, so I have it right here. I look at it. All right. I, I, I print it out and wrote it out. I know exactly what I'm trying to do in 90 days per category of my life. OK, um, I'll just read one. Uh, let's let's see. I want to get down to 150 pounds. I'm not a big guy, right? I'm like five, seven. I would, a lot of people probably, oh, that's short. It is short. I get it. Um, but yeah, so 150 pounds, I weigh like 165 right now. I want to get shredded. It's been a goal. It's hard to get shredded because you got to eat healthy all the time, but that's, that's an objective I have in quarter one is get shredded, get jacked, get down to 150. Now, how do I do that? Okay. Well, it's right here. I know what I got to do every day in order to get down to 150. Okay. My key result, how am I going to get down to 150 is I got to intermittent fast every day. Okay. I get this. I got to do, and I got to be at a caloric deficit. I can't be eating 3000 calories in my body. Uh, cause I, I'm fortunate. I can't burn off that many calories. I'm not that big. I don't do enough exercise to burn off that much. And if I keep eating like crazy, I'm not going to get there. All right. So right here, I take all the information that chat's giving me and the exercise. And I say, Nate, I want to get to 150. I have my key result of how I'm going to do is intermittent fasting and being a caloric deficit. How do I measure that? How am I going to actually know that I can get that done? Well, I got an app on my phone that tracks calories and intermittent fasting. So I can press, Hey, it's time to eat Nate or Hey, this is my fast. And it tells you when your fast is over. I got a, I got a scale. I go to the gym and I get on a little body scan thing and it tells me, okay, here's where you're at. This is blah, blah, blah. Like this is your percent of body fat. And I can, I can measure how I'm hitting my goals. Okay. So in the past when I was like, Hey, I want to lose weight. And that's all I really said. And I would go to the gym here and there. I don't really know what would, I was felt like I was trying to get lucky. Like if I'd get in shape and, uh, now I know exactly what I got to do. That's what you measure. And then again, we talked about the initiatives are just the things you need to do to get that done. Well, I, I need a gym, right? I need a, I need a phone, right? Like, again, those are things that I need to check off that, that will help me know. Um, I need to be able to, you know, buy food, right? So I can eat healthy and be a caloric deficit. So those are the initiatives. And why is this important? Why is it important when things are getting tough and I don't want to intermittent fast or I don't want to be at a caloric deficit? Why is it important that I accomplish this thing? Because it's going to get hard. Yesterday, I started my intermittent fast at like 650. No, yeah, 650. And then I went to uh, an activity for my church where like I help with the, the youth. It's one of my callings in church. And they had donuts. So I started, I started my, my fast and immediately they have donuts and uh, like maple bars. You got, you name them like, and there was a ton left over because the boys didn't need them all. So I'm like, well, first of all, I started my intermittent fast and, um, I'm, I'm kind of like a little bit close to not being at a caloric deficit. If I eat that donut, I'm done for, but it looks so good. What do you think caused me to not do it? I remembered why it was important to me. Okay. Um, so for me, why is this important to me? I want to take care of the body that uh, I'm, I'm a I'll get spiritual that God created and gave to me. That's that's what for me. So I want to be able to take care of that. So if I don't, no, I'm not saying if you don't, if you don't, it's your bad. But I was just like, that's what drives me. It's like, hey, I uh, I got to like take care of the body I give, and I want to live longer. I want to be able to help uh, hang out with my daughter and my wife and be around. No, I'm not gonna have the donut today. Okay, it's not even that good. I'm I'm kind of full still. Yeah. So that is why it's important to know the why behind everything you're doing for the 90 days. Okay. So that is how you finalize your OKRs. You take it through a process and with chat GPT, um, you're able to do it quickly. Now this one gave us multiple key results. You can say, Hey, break them down. So it's, we can do this. Let's see. Take all my objectives for quarter one and give me one objective per category and one key result that's measurable per category 
so I can write this down in my painless planner. Okay, let's see, let's see it whip it out. Let's establish the structure for a spiritual group, secure a venue, and finalize a list of I don't think this broke it down into quarters. Uh these objectives uh, approach your Q1 goals. Okay, so this is quarter one. So in, uh, initiate a consistent workout routine on Peloton. Complete a minimum of 20 Peloton workouts over the quarter. Okay, and then it broke it down to one to two. Melissa, you already said three to four, so totally get it. Okay, so I'm coming back to the chat. I'm coming back to talk to everybody. Is everybody on the same page on how we just – does everyone understand? Give me one or two if you don't, one if you do, how we just took the life. We just took uh, the year, and now we broke it down to the ne the next ninety days. Is this starting to become a little bit more um, palpable? Like, you, can you feel it? Does it make sense? We're like, oh, I can start using this. This is, it's, it's not just him talking. Like, I can really do this and get it set up so I can do stuff every day. Okay, you're you're feeling it. You guys are understanding. Awesome. So this is the cool thing. Once you get down to your objective for the 90 days, you guys like it's, it's there. You can feel it. You can touch it. You're like, Oh, I'm, I just, now I just got to do it and I'm going to accomplish my goal. And I know I can, I can I'm going to track it. I'm going to get there and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But, um, really we're, we're, we're there and it's exciting. It's very exciting. So for, for you, Melissa, you right there, you got it. You, we just did it together. You, you, Again, I don't, I don't know your, your life or your, uh, your life mission, vision, all that stuff yet. But, um, but you, we did break down, you want to consistently work out, right. And you want to do it three to four times a day. So now you put the why behind it, you put the measuring, like how you're going to measure if you do it, whether you're going to put it, you're going to check it off on, um, the, the planner that I have for you, you you're going to put work out three to four times this week on Peloton. You're going to write that down and then you're going to check it off. You're going to say, well, it's, my goal is four times this week. You're going to check out. I did it Monday. Didn't do it Tuesday. I did it Wednesday. And then at the end, you're, you're going to be able to write it down and you're going to feel great as you do it because you're tracking yourself. You're saying, I did it. And at the end of the quarter, you're going to say, I did everything I did. I, I said I would. And I was consistent with working out. I hit my objective. Let's do this again. And, and life starts to become a game. It starts to become fun. Not that it's not fun, but it starts to become exciting to wake up and do your goals because you're like, hey, I'm getting closer to my life vision and my, my mission and my plan. Uh, I'm getting there. So for me, I wake up every day excited because I'm like, hey, I got to um, I got to read 40 minutes in a book today uh, when I wake up because it's going to help me develop the character that uh, of the people that I emulate, the people that I respect and I want to be like. Okay, so I'm excited every morning to wake up and and feed my baby and sit down and read uh, a book. Right now, I'm reading uh, a book by Fyodor Dostoevsky, one of my favorite authors. But yeah, I'm learning so much about like you know the things that happened in Russia in the 1800s and you know how to be a good person, what people were bad in his book, like what people were good, and and how to be a better person. And I'm excited to intermittent fast every day and be at a caloric deficit because I know if I do this, I'm going to hit my objective, which is enabling me to be live a healthier lifestyle. So, um, that, that's pretty much where, what I wanted to go over with you guys today is the objective and the key result and how it trickled down from your life and your year. And tomorrow we're going to wrap it up with now. Okay. Now you understand exactly what you're trying to do in 90 days. How are we going to track this? How are we going to make sure that we're doing it? How are we going to hold ourselves accountable to it weekly and daily? Okay. And, and I'll just do a quick review. Um, of well, preview of tomorrow, we have our weekly planning where we do it once a week. I do mine on Sunday morning where I basically take my OKRs for each category. And I say, what am I going to do this week? That's going to help me get closer to achieving my objective of being consistent on working out. Well, I don't have the Peloton yet. Okay. This week I got to buy the Peloton. I got to do it. It's not something I have yet. I got to do it. Or I don't, I don't have the money to buy yet. I got to do this in order to buy. I got to sell the drums in my garage so I can do you're, you're getting closer because you're able to look at this weekly and say, this is what I, I need to do. So then that's the weekly planning. The planning is, um, getting you accountable. You have to be accountable. Like 
that's the, the hardest part about goals is accountability. This will keep you accountable. It's kept me accountable. It's been great because at the end of you're planning the week that following week, you review yourself and you say, what progress did I make? What questions, what's slowing me down? Uh, what can I do to move forward next week? Did I eat healthy? You, you have like a checklist of self-reflection that you review every week and you're holding yourself accountable. And then we're going to be going over the daily, which this thing is, I've, this is my own planner. This is what I do every day. I wake up, I write down what time I woke up, how many hours I slept. I start with a prayer. Um, I drink water, I read and, and the good word, the good book. I read another book. I read poetry. I, I do create my, my routine is like an hour and a half of reading. Cause I really like to read right now. Um, but really a lot of people might see this and be like, dude, you're crazy. Well, it only takes like 30 minutes to do this other than the reading. Um, and the cool thing about this, everyone is it's once you make a copy, you can change your routine. This is just what I do. So, um, for you, uh, Melissa, you can change the exercise and you can just say, uh, Peloton Peloton or whatever you spell it. And then you can say, yeah, check Mark. I did my Peloton and I did it for 30 minutes. Okay. And then what you do is if that is one of your key results specifically that you're trying to hit, you would be able to go back and um, when you review your day, you would say, okay, this is my week. I hit the Peloton and you're keeping yourself accountable. So again, tomorrow is weekly accountability, weekly planning and accountability and daily planning with time blocking and holding yourself accountable at the end of the day. That's it. And then you're good. And, and, and that's what I've taught. What I'm teaching you is exactly what I do. This, I have it here. I've done it. I've tried it. I build it. Um, and it's not very difficult to do if you can just learn and stay consistent. Now, once you're tracking your weekly every, at the end of every week, when you do your weekly planning, all you do is you take your, your, your numbers and you put, okay, I, I did it, did it, did it. I, I worked out seven days this week. I worked out eight. And at the end of the 13 weeks, the 90 days, you're able to say, I worked out a hundred times. I'm on fire. I rock. And, um, and that's it. And then everything else in the planner is just like exercises to help you, like writing yourself a yearly goal letter or in the back of the uh, planner, I put books of life, like things you want to remember. You can take little notes, dreams that you have, uh, decisions you've made and you don't need to keep making the same decision that is going to, uh, distract you and take a lot of your brain power, your unique ability. These are all just things that, uh, you can do like heroes of yours and people that you emulate and when, why you emulate them. All, all cool exercises, not necessary for planning. I just put it all together because I think this is a book, a, a book of life, a book that can help you improve your life in every way possible. And that's why I do it. But, um, yeah. So if, if you come tomorrow, that's what we'll be going over. And I'm excited to, to wrap this up. And if this is something that's been super helpful, I want to continue to, um, you know, talk with you guys and help you out through this. Uh, so let's see. Any questions from uh, my Zoom people or anybody watching on any of the platforms? And anything I can answer for you before we wrap up today? Uh, I did. S let me read some of these comments. So I'm pretty good when I have control. Of the show. <laughs> Melissa. Okay, I'm going to answer your question. So you say you feel that wholesaling is difficult because you can't control the outcome. That is. What is extremely important about setting goals is setting goals that you can control. Because if I say I want to do, um, let's say, if my goal is I want to, let me think. I'm thinking wholesaling wise. Like you can use money because then you can break that down. Like I want to make a hundred thousand. You can break that down in the deals. Um, what's something you can't control? Melissa, what is there something that's, um, that you're, you feel like you can't control? Is it like deals? Like wh what do you, you feel like? Because you could say my objective is to do five deals this, this quarter. And you could say, well, I can't really control that, but you can control how you do it. You can't, the objective of doing those many deals, that's a good objective, but the how is what you need. You can not always control. You should always be able to control the key result of the how, um, but 
l- let me hear back from you to say what you're saying on what you feel like you can't control. Um, deals, deals. Okay. No buyers. All right. So deals. All right. So let's go over deals. So let's say Q1. All right. My goal, let's say, let's, let's go through the whole thing. Life is to provide for my family. That's my business goal. Provide for my family. This year, I want to start a wholesaling business. That's my objective for Q1 is start a wholesaling business. So how do I start that with my 90-day journey, the OKRs for Q1? I My objective is to do five wholesale deals. Okay, So that's a good objective, five wholesale deals in Q1. How do we break that down um, into... uh, did I, did I say Q1 is five? Okay, so five, that's the objective, five wholesale deals. What key result do I need to do? How do I get to five deals? Then you would break that down into something that is measurable, something you can control. So that would be how many calls. You can control how many calls you make. You can't control who will pick up, but you can control how many calls you make to real estate agents. You can control how many calls you make to um, other people that have deals, other wholesalers. You So you can control the phone calls, okay? So if you have set your goals, your key results on anything but calls or actions that you can take, how many offers you make. You can control how many offers you make, okay? You can make 10 offers a day. You can make 50 ca- calls a day, Okay. That is where your focus needs to be on daily when it comes to business is the things you can control that should have an outcome on the objective. Okay. So if you feel like you're not, um, if you're doing the how, if you're doing the calls, let's say you're doing 10 calls a day and it's not giving you the result of the five deals in Q1, then you you need to up the how, right? You need to up how many calls you're doing or you need to change the how to something else. Like, okay, maybe I don't need to call 50 people. Maybe I need to um, practice my sales skills because I'm getting on the calls with tons of people, but maybe I'm just not that good at negotiating. Negotiating every day. I'm going to study how to get better and be a better negotiator every day. That's your how I'm going to get the result. So everything you do, um, like I said, any objective money, uh, like in real estate, like I want to make $10,000, $100,000 has to be tied to the how you're going to do it. Okay. So deals, again, you're saying, uh, I'm not, I'd have to break down your certain situation, but if you're like, Hey, Nate, I'm running across like 10, 15 deals, but no buyers want them. I'm sending out 10 or 15 deals. Then I would say, okay, let's take a look at those deals that you've been sending out. Cause you're making the calls, you're getting them under contract, but it looks like those deals I looked at them. They're not good. No one's buying that area. Okay. That's where the tweaks come in. Cause if you're doing the thing that the, how that's going to help you get there, but you're still not seeing the results, then you're able to kind of go and say, okay, well, why is it not working? Is it really the buyers? Maybe you've only sent out one deal and you think you're, you know, you're going to get a deal just off that one deal. That deal was in the wrong area. A lot to go into it. Let me, let me, uh, I need to give this more thought. Okay. Um, let's see, Marcel. So where do you get this customizable version of the planner? I don't think I got the email with the Canva link. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you guys all the, the link right now. So you can, um, you can do it. Uh, you can make a copy. Just want to make sure this is, yeah, this is it. So again, I'm sending this to everyone here. I'm going to share it. Um, and with the link, you can just view it. This link that I'm sending you guys in the Zoom. So you're not going to be able to edit the one I'm sending you. You have to um, go to file and then you have to go to make a copy. And that's how you're going to be able to, to make your own. Okay. Um, let's see. I just put it in there exactly. So, Melissa, yeah, it takes time as a business owner and doing this to really know what what activity, what key result really impacts the objective. But if you're not tracking it, it's very, very difficult to know, especially when you're new, because there's so many things that can, can be happening, right? Like you could be making a hundred calls, but maybe you're calling the wrong per- people. Maybe, uh, you know, <laughs> you could not be making a hundred calls. You could be making like five calls a day and thinking, man, this doesn't work. It's like, well, Hey, Melissa, people that are crushing it and wholesaling, they make like a thousand calls a day. Not saying that that's, that's not tr- true necessarily. Cause I don't make that many calls and I do deals, but 
that's you really have to track what we're talking about. And again, you have to everybody come tomorrow because th this is the icing on top is now we have to hold ourselves accountable to our 90 day journey with our weekly planning and our daily uh, daily disciplines, our planner for the day. Uh, any other questions that that you have? And I and I really want feedback from everybody on this, by the way, because uh, this is the first time I really taught this in depth. I've been doing this for for years, planning and stuff, but I've never really, uh, you know, told everyone how to do it. Uh, does everyone feel like this is a? I, I really want to know if you feel like this is a, a scattered or if you feel like the flow and how I'm teaching you guys make sense and you're understanding it. Cause I want to make this better so you can all do it. There's no reason I'm not doing this just to talk. I really want people to not even to, uh, I don't even care about my planner necessarily. I just, uh, this one I use, but I want people to use this structure cause it's changed my life on how I set goals. And I think it can help other people. Um, Let's see. The structure is really cool. You did great. Okay. Thank you, Marcella. I appreciate that. Um, and Melissa. Okay. Makes sense. Awesome. Yeah. And any feedback in the future, just let me know. Cause again, I, this is something I'm really passionate about and I think it can help a lot of people to know how to set goals the right way. Um, and you know, if there's a better way I can teach it or a way to present, I would, I'd want to know. And if there's confusion on like OKRs or how to use chat GPT, I'm going to try and perfect it. Um, yeah, anytime. And Marcel, I try to be authentic. Like I said, I use it. So if I wasn't using it, it'd be very difficult to be authentic about it. But this is something I built for myself and I'm excited to share it with everybody. So thanks so much for tuning in and tomorrow, same time. And because you all been on here, um, we'll send you the recordings when they're done that we'll, we'll, we'll create like a little series on YouTube and we'll send you the, the playlist and uh, appreciate you. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, thanks again for being on here and we'll talk to you later.